on the fanfic critic. I read it, you listen. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. If you haven't guessed already, today's fanfic is going to be about Pokemon. As if the title bar up above didn't give it away, Meowth's Vacation. Well, then again, for those who aren't really familiar with Pokemon, you might not know what a Meowth is. I just realized that the dub for Pokemon has the lamest names. Meowth. Meowth. Seriously, you couldn't have been more creative. I highly doubt the Japanese name translates to Meowth. Okay. Today's fanfic is, yet again, called Meowth's Vacation by Moki Chan, Where Does Meowth and the Other Pokemon Go on Their Day Off? I think their name is actually Moki Chan, but because they have like this little brief summary right next to their name, it looks like it's that's their name. This isn't on fanfiction.net. This is actually on a website, www.angelfire.com. Slash OK2 okay slash Anime Girl Meow Vague HTML. I'm wondering if this is the same website that Barney vs. Pokemon was conceived on. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Part 1 in parentheses. The story starts at the airport. Meowth, Pikachu, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Togepi, Psyduck, Weezing, and Arbok waiting for their flight. Shouldn't it say are waiting for their flight? They're wearing their translators so you can hear what they're saying. Okay, let, let's let's um, read that sentence without the abbreviations. They are wearing, they are translators so you can hear what they are saying. You see, the second they are should actually be there. T-H-E-I-R, not T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Meowth sighs. Finally, I get to have a week off after being blown up, scored, bitten, and shocked. It's about time the boss let me off on a personal day or two. Pikachu. Yeah, I know what you mean. After a while, even I get sick of electrocuting everything in my way. Ash doesn't realize I get headaches from that. Meowth. Maybe you should see a doctor. Pikachu. Maybe. Meowth. Wait, where's that giant lizard that breathes fire? Pikachu, you mean Charizard? Oh, he wasn't allowed to come. He did something bad. Like what? One night during dinner around the campfire, he blew fire at Ash. All he really wanted was to toast the marshmallows, but he got Ash's clothes on fire instead. No fooling. Nope. Misty and Brock had to stomp on him till the fire went out while Squirtle doused it was fire. While Squirtle doused it was fire? I don't know what you mean by that. Maybe you mean while Squirtle doused it with water, perhaps? I don't get how you can get Was Fire mis mixed up with, with water. He was stark naked, crying like a little girl. God, you should have seen it. It was hilarious. What's going to happen to the ticket? It's already been taken care of. Psyduck took his place. Meow, Psyduck? Okay, why the heck is that in the same line as Pikachu's lines? Seriously, you have to reread your work before you publish it on the web. Pikachu, I don't know. Oh, that's her plane. Let's get going. Togepi, Wee, plane, plane, plane. Pikachu, Meowth, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Psyduck, Arbok, Weezing, and Togepi all board their plane. Before the flight begins, Bulbasaur is all tensed up. Squirtle, what's up, old man? Bulbasaur, huh? Uh, n nothing. You're not afraid of flying, are you? Afraid? Don't be so ignorant. I'm not afraid of anything. Yeah, right. Okay, what the hell is with this right here? Not only is Squirtle's lines in the same line as Bulbasaur, but you haven't specified that it's Bulbasaur speaking. Oh, and you probably noticed that after I announce their names and start doing the voices, I don't bother saying their names after that. Figured it'd be easier seeing I'm trying to do voice acting to make them sound different. So, let's continue. Psyduck. 
When I'm afraid of something, it usually helps to recite the Pokemon Oath over and over while gargling. Why the hell would that work? No, really, I try it. It's really effective. Thanks, but I'm not afraid of anything. Suit yourself. A few minutes later, the plane departs. Da pars? Da pars? Don't you mean D parts? Don't oh, the plane depart! I go flying all over the place! I go all around the room! And I go spin in a circle! And I go wee! In the air, all the Pokemon fall asleep except Bulbasaur. I am not afraid of heights. I am not afraid of heights. I am not afraid of heights. Captain. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would turn your attention to the window, you can see the beautiful view down below. Bulbasaur looks out the window to see how far down they are, then screams. Bulbasaur screams. Ah! Get me off this plane! We're doomed! Help! Squirtle, waking up. Ha! Uh, what? Flight attendant. Sir, are you okay? Okay? Do I look okay to you? I'm a nervous wreck. Of course you are. Shall I get you something to calm you down? No. Well, get me some water. Right away, sir. The flight attendant goes to the back of the plane and returns with a glass of water. Bulbasaur sips a bit, waits until Squirtle go backs, goes, back to goes back to sleep, then gargles. I'm a Bulbasaur. <laughs> I am fearless. I am ruth ruthless. I am daring. I am brave. I am loyal. I am a Pokemon. I am Bulbasaur. Thank God they stop. In the cockpit. I am going to the restroom. You check on the controls while I'm gone, okay? Diddle King. So the captain leaves, controlling the plane to his co-pilot, Nitto, Nitto King. Jeez, what an idiot. And a minute later, it starts plummeting for the Earth, which wakes the other Pokemon. Pikachu. <sighs> hey, wake up, Meow. We're gonna die. Huh? Or, huh? Okay. Ah! Weezing. Weezing scared. Weezing want master. Arbuck. Arbuck don't want to die like this. Everyone in the plane starts panicking. Everyone, that is, except for the captain, who was still on the john, and Bulbasaur, who was chanting, Grr, I am daring. Grr, I am brave. Grr, I am loyal. Togepi clapping. Whee! Bang! 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 What the? Oh, shit! Not again! This happens every time! The flight attendant rushes to the cockpit, pushing Nitto King out of the seat and tries to land the plane. On the intercom, Hey! Clear the way! I'm coming in! At the other airport, Guy one. Sir, we got a signal from a flight attendant in the unscheduled plane to clear the runway. Apparently, the captain left his Nittle King in charge. Guy number two. Damn! When will those bastards ever learn? If I had a dime for every time this happens... Uh, sir? Oh, sorry. Just do what the woman says, man. Permission... Uh, permission granted, ma'am. Wait a minute. Oh my god! She's heading towards us! Good gravy, no! We'll all be killed! Tell her to turn! She can't! The Nittle King attacked her! Well then, it was nice knowing you, Bill. You too, sir! As the plane came closer to the ground, it got slower and started to turn, then landed safely on the runway. All the people and Pokemon walked out of the plane. Bulbas Bulbasaur was still reciting the oath. Pikachu. <sighs> Oh, my stomach. Meow. Quality, sir. No, quality service my tail. I told you we should have taken the boat. Bree! Again, again, again! Me no like flying no more. Me too. Me want to buff. I'm a Pokemon. Hey, you guys were right. Uh, you were right, Psyduck. It really does work. The five Pokemon stare at Bulbasaur and fall down anime style. Hey, are you okay? Guys? Guys? And that's the end of the fanfic. And I'm sorry if my voice acting got a little off. Uh, too many of the voices sounded similar, and I guess I got mixed up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this fanfic. Well, it was entertaining. I will give it that much credit. It would have been a bit better if 
Gee, I don't know. If the grammar was actually good, and if the author actually spell-checked this before they plastered it on the web? <sighs> I digress, though. Compared to some of the other Pokemon fanfics I've read, this one was pretty decent. I mean, it was stupid, but it was funny. It was funny. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, it, it was it was funny, especially seeing that the Team Rocket Pokemon were hanging out with Ash's Pokemon, and they all seem to get along like they're good friends. It's like, yeah. I, I mean, it was it was cute and it was funny. Wasn't the best fanfic in the world, though, not by a long shot. But it's not the worst either. Well, I'm the fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. I'm gonna get myself another root beer.